My name is Dr. Dan Shapiro. I'm a Hodgkin's disease survivor, which is a lymphoma. I'm the chairman of the Department of Humanities at the Penn State College of Medicine. Uh, I'm also a clinical psychologist. I was diagnosed when I was a junior uh, at Vassar College. Being a patient, it can be deeply dehumanizing. Um, it's, uh, it can be terrifying. Um, and um, I thought we could do it better, even then. I remember being in the hospital once, waking up and finding three physicians standing at the end of my bed, and they had that kind of official, legitimate air about them, like pilots or attorneys, you know? And they started talking about me in the third person, you know? This is a 22-year-old white male who presents with relapse stage 2B Hodgkin's disease, you know? And I um, interrupted, and uh, I got the, um, the kind of scorn uh, of one of the senior attendings who just kind of gave me a little, you know, um, don't talk, you know, this isn't your time, and I, it's, but I, inter you know, who are you guys? Um, can you tell me why you're here? And, you know, then I got the crossing guard stop sign. Um, and so I, I eventually um, sprayed this small group of physicians down with a high-power battery-operated water gun that took like 16 D batteries. Um, it turned out those guys could really move quickly. They had a very good first step. Um, but it changed, um, it changed how I was treated, I think. They came back later a lot more connected. I wouldn't recommend that everyone walk through hospitals with high power battery operated water guns, but um, I wouldn't say they shouldn't either. <laughs> now I work trying to make sure that the next generation of physicians is attuned to the patient experience so that they understand it enough to really heal the whole person and, and not just try to cure disease. We're in this together.